Do not forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. In the entertainment and sports world, the GOAT, acronym for Greatest of All Time, is a fun discussion that fans and followers often engage in. Things are not any different with fans of the Kung Fu movie genre. The topic I believe that is most heavily debated is Who is the number one villain in the history of Kung Fu movies? As is often the case in these discussions, personal preferences are unavoidable. However, the spotlight usually settles on a handful of individuals who no doubt has left a mark on the genre while playing several memorable Kung Fu movie villains. The names of such actors like Chang Yi, Lo Li, and Ku Fong, along with a few others, can usually find themselves in the debate, deservedly so. However, the two names that are most often chosen, almost unanimously, are names that are very well known to Kung Fu movie lovers universally. Those names are Johnny Wang Long Wei and the most lethal kicking machine known to man, Huang Zhang Li, aka Silver Fox, aka Thunder Legs. So, without further ado, let us analyze the visual evidence. Wang Long Wei, more famously known as Johnny Wang, was born on the 14th of July 1949 in China. He is a martial artist, actor, director, producer and action choreographer, who is best known for his role as the traitor of Shaolin, Ma Fu Yi, in the classic Kung Fu movies Shaolin Temple and Five Shaolin Masters. He has starred in close to 100 movies, mainly Kung Fu films for Shaw Brothers Studios, beginning in the early 70s to the mid 80s. Wang's family came to Hong Kong while he was still a child. As a young boy, Wang was very rebellious by media. This attitude contributed to him being labeled a bad student, as he would regularly get into fights at his school. During one particular fight, one of his opponents got badly hurt and Wang was expelled from his school. He then found himself wandering aimlessly and without any real plans for the future. To survive, he began playing his guitar in bars and nightclubs. He also began learning martial arts from a local master. Possessing a natural gift for fighting, along with his athleticism, he progressed at a rapid rate. At the age of 24, Wang responded to an ad in the newspaper stating that Shaw Brothers Studios top director Chang Che was searching for new actors. Wang applied and was chosen by Chang, who saw his potential. Wang made his film debut in the classic movie Shaolin Martial Arts in 1974 as one of the main bodies, alongside Leon Kaya. Even though he was inexperienced and had limited acting abilities, his physical abilities stood out, so much so that same year he would be given a chance to play a character in the classic film, The Five Shaolin Masters, that he would forever be associated with. The Benjamin Franklin of Kung Fu movies, the traitor of Shaolin, Ma Fu Yi. He would once again portray this character in 1976's prequel, Shaolin Temple, aka Da Jing. The die was cast. From that movie onwards, it became a pattern in that he was cast as the villain in the majority of his movies, with Marshall Clubs 1981 and The Mercenaries from Hong Kong 1982 being two famous exceptions. From 1976 onward, Wang became the go-to bad guy for Shaw Studios. It seems like every director at Shaw would call on him to do a movie. He would average between six and eight movies per year, and not just any movie. His resume is littered with classic films like Chinatown Kid 1977, The Five Deadly Venoms 1978, Kid with the Golden Arm 1979, Fist of the White Lotus 1980, and Marshall Club 1981, just to name a few. For every one movie that was mentioned, there were literally four or five more classics not mentioned on this list. From Wang's second movie, Shaolin Temple, he would develop a chemistry with the late great Alexander Fushek that would have many directors pairing them up for numerous on-screen duels. They have dueled each other in at least 16 different movies. Although Wang has many other memorable team-ups against many other legendary Kung Fu movie stars, the other person that stood out is Gordon Liu. Their battles in Clan of the White Lotus and Return of the 36th Chamber, 1980, Treasure Hunter and Marshall Club, 1981, are all classics. From 1974 to 1980, Wang worked exclusively for the Shaw Studio. 
It would feature in 34 films in that period of time. However, in the year 1980, he would for the first time share his talent with other producers. He would play the villain in two classic independent films, Two Toothless Tigers for Samuel Hong's film company, and Two on the Road for Goldick Films, Hong Kong Limited. He would do these films while still managing to feature in seven movies for Shaw Studio in that year. In 1985, Wang moved behind the camera, choreographing fight scenes, writing and directing many movies such as Hong Kong Godfather and This Man is Dangerous, both for Shaw Brothers Studio. He would go on to direct a total of 10 films while still maintaining his acting career. In the 1990s, he appeared in the movies Twin Dragons with Jackie Chan and New Legend of Shaolin with Jet Li. He would also star in a few television series for ATV and TVB. Wang retired from making movies in the late 2000s. However, by this time he had already secured his legacy and claimed his place as one of the top five villains in Kung Fu cinema history. To Johnny Wang Long Wei we say, thanks for the memories. Wang Zhang Li, born December 21, 1944, is a Japanese Korean martial artist and film actor. Wang is best known for his role as Thunderleg in 1978's Drunken Master, Shen Quan in 1978's Snake in the Eagle's Shadow, and Silver Fox in 1976 Secret Rivals. Wang was born in Amori Honzu Island, Japan, to Korean parents. His family moved back to Korea when he was a baby. Martial arts background. Wang took Taekwondo lessons from age 14 and achieved the 7 Dan Black Belt in 1965 at the age 21. Wang became a martial arts instructor for the Korean and South Vietnamese armies, specializing in the skill of Taekwondo. In January 2003, Wang received his 9 Dan Black Belt in Taekwondo. In addition, he currently holds a 9 Dan degree rank with the World Tan Soon Do General Federation. Wang still actively teaches martial arts. He is currently an instructor with the World Tang Soon Do General Federation and serves as technical advisor. He recently completed a tour of the US and Canada in which he, along with other Korean grandmasters, promoted the study and practice of traditional martial arts. Acting career. Wang began his acting career in Korean movies. Wang had featured in several movies in Korea when in 1976, director NGCM invited him to star as the main villain, Silver Fox, in the film Secret Rivals. The movie found great success with audiences worldwide and would go on to become a classic in the martial arts movie genre. It also made household names of its main cast and many of its background players. Wang would go on to star in many martial arts movies, usually playing the main villain. In 1978, Huang starred alongside Jackie Chan in two classic films, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow and Drunken Master, as Shen Quan and Thunder Leg, respectively. These two films would solidify Huang's status as a go-to bad guy for the next few years in Kung Fu movies. Directing Huang directed a total of four films, the first in 1981, Hitman in the Hands of Buddha. In 1983, he would direct the film, Canton Viper. To date, this film has never gotten an official release. He would also direct Never Again in 1990 and Emperor of the Underworld in 1994. Other films and retirement from acting. Wang would get an invitation in 1989 by Grandmaster Jun Chong to come to America to star as a villain in the film Street Soldiers. To bring a more Americanized flavor to the film, Wang decided to use the name Jason Wang which, incidentally, is the given name of his son. In the early 1990s, Huang returned to South Korea, where he ran a hotel and a golf tea manufacturing company in Seoul. He would also go on to manage a bodyguard agency. During this time, Huang would only appear occasionally in movies such as Emperor of the Underworld, 1994, and Boss, 1996. In July 1996, Huang would officially retire from acting at the age of 51. Anecdotes. Like a scene straight out of one of his movies, while he was an instructor in the Korean army, Huang was challenged by a knife fighter. The story, as told by Huang himself, is, they were at a bar and the knife fighter, who obviously had too much to drink, was boasting that his knives were better than Huang's kicks. Wanting nothing to do with the situation, 
man said he turned to walk away when the guy lunged at him from behind. He was alerted of the impending attack. He sidestepped and connected with a roundhouse kick to the guy's temple, killing him instantly. Return to acting. After a long absence from acting, Fang made an appearance in the TV series The Return of Jimmy. Fang is featured in the documentary film The Anonymous King, in which James Hudson examines Fang's personal life in Seoul, Korea, and Hong Kong. In 2014, he began a 100 country tour connecting with his fans in different parts of the world. In 2017, he opened a dojo in Korea. He can presently be found on social media where from time to time he reaches out to his millions of fans. To Hang Jang Lee, we say, thanks for the memories. You have seen the evidence. What say ye? Can we decide based on the evidence before us who is indeed the greatest Kung Fu movie villain of all time? Let us discuss it in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you and may the Fu be with you.